guys welcome uh welcome to my football manager 2020 series um as you saw on the last episode we ended up uh picking associations um oh, association sportive arta uh which is in the djibouti um premier league and yeah i wanted to like let's pretty much dive in um to this team so as you can see uh actually let me double check um, i'm sure they gave me a history or something like that i'm sure they did but anyway you know what we can go over here to the overview so we won the Djibouti super cup in 2019 which is just a year that gone by and we also won the oh goodness gracious sorry uh we, we also won the Djibouti cup as well so if you go here uh Djibouti cup as you can see there we've won that um this is the last year's uh competition although i can't see the super cup we may not um so yeah so even though we won that last year uh because of the database they may um i don't think it's loaded in so even though that you know we, we, did, we did win that it's great um it seems as though they only have very recent success which is probably good for me um so pretty much my then uh my agenda is uh i wanted to go over um I guess what my plans are overall as well for this team and with this series as a whole so um i don't know how i'm gonna do this maybe i'll edit it uh afterwards but there is basically uh a few i guess rules of this um if you've seen other you could say journeyman type saves for football manager um it's not like that it's probably a little bit more easier um in the sense that so the way it is is if we get fired i would just basically uh roll a team basically first of all i'll roll a, um, a country and then if that country that comes up I'll also do a, you know, um, random number generator, random country selector or something like that on Google. Um, I'll run that. And then out of that, we will then do a random number generator, I guess. And whatever number it lands on will be the position of whichever team is in the league. So let's say, for example, now I got fired from Association Sportive Arta. And now I'm going for my next um, team. I'll roll. Da, 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 da. American Samoa. All right. I'll see if American Samoa has a. Uh, so Samoa, Samoa. I think if I do that, it should pop up. Nation. Here we go. American Samoa. Right. Now, if they actually do have a league and. In this case, they do because I've got pretty much the massive world mod, so they should do. Now we click on it, right? So this is essentially the this is essentially the country we'll be managing in next. Um, now I'll roll a number, a random number generator from one to eleven, pop, 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 seventh. So this is where I'll force myself onto this team. It doesn't matter if they would have had a manager already who we'll essentially replace that manager and will just be taken over so in this sense i may end up with a good team with a bad team it it is all randomized and that's also why i'm going to have this uh this uh, in-game editor to allow me so so that let's say now i'm uh, i'm unemployed i'll go here i'll go move to other club whatever yeah so that's one way this is different from uh the normal journeyman type uh saves and secondly um 
most of what I will be doing is I'll be playing using a, um, a skin that allows me to do instant result. It's only because um, I, I am not a person with much free time. Uh, and so I need, uh, it's, it's something that I like playing. Uh, you know, so I like playing Football Manager. And don't get me wrong, I do play with the uh, match engine as well. But sometimes when I have a lot of things going on, so I'm working during the day and now I just want to have a quick little play of Football Manager, I'll go and I'll normally do the instant result. On a day that I may have more free time, I'll happily, you know, delve into tactics. And although, by the way, I'm not in you know an expert by any means but i'll delve into tactics i'll delve uh, i'll delve into training i'll manually search for stuff and stuff like that but i'm taking a more you could say backseat type uh gaming experience with football manager and on top of that because of this massive world mod um i'm essentially uh loading a whole lot of processes at the same time uh, one way to show you is if I put add and remove leagues it takes a while for me to even get the leagues and as you can see well what I've done mainly is pretty much the top flight divisions are playable uh, for pretty much most nations and then everything below a view only so that just means I can play in all these leagues that popped up here but anything below that it will still do a semi simulation but i can't manage in those leagues so that means the egyptian premier league i can manage in but anything below the egyptian premier league i can't manage but it will still do some background processes and background um uh you could say database changes and um, processes for the leagues itself anyway I'll probably put that as a graphic or something um, just so that you can, you know, you can understand. But that's essentially how I'm going to be playing this uh, game and this uh, save. So going now, because I did have a little rant, um, not rant, but did have a little explanation that's now gone up to seven minutes. Goodness. Um, I wanted to go through the actual team itself and... I've had a look and um, we do have an all right team, although it's completely just almost, um, it's not the best team, mind you. So over here, uh, if you look at the team here, our best player, right, is essentially this guy called Alex Stong. Which is, if I can get him, where did he go? I'm pretty sure it's like Alex Song or something like that. Is it because, oh, I'm, I'm looking at the under 21, that's why. Here we go, Alex Song. So he's essentially our best player. He just joined the team quite recently. And I can see there's a massive buzz around this guy. Sorry about this, taking a sip. So much so that he's actually the team leader of this team. Uh, going into dynamics, there we go, hierarchy. So there's Alex Song, and then there is uh, this gentleman, Danny, if I... If I butcher his name, I'm sorry, but um, Danny Nunkyu. Uh, he's a Cameroonian um, guy, and he's essentially our second uh, team leader. Essentially, one of these two people are is gonna end up being my uh, or our uh, captain for this team. So pretty much, apart from those two, everyone else are just just literally newly bred and completely awful 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 players but i can't do too much about it um so 
it's pretty much uh, two of these people are pretty much the best, and both of them are Cameroonian, by the way. There's no uh, Djibou Djiboutian, or is, is that how you say Djiboutian? The, our best Djiboutian player, right, is um, according to the math. So this guy doesn't actually exist, right? But once I hire some players, these people will go. But essentially, our second best is going to end up being a guy called Simon Mohammed. In fact, if I look, if I include the under 21s, then we may have someone. No. So it is Simon Mohammed, which is the goalkeeper. Okay. So we don't have a very good team. And honestly, um, I'm going to be bringing in players. Uh, definitely I'm going to be recruiting players. Uh, what else? Other than that, um, looking at our uh, competition, we can also see where the game predicts we're going to finish. And the game predicts we're going to come forward. So we've got three very good um, teams according to the computer and what it feels like according to maths. Of course, that will change once I bring some more people in. But as you can see, Association, I think, Sporting, Ali Saber, and Association Sportive um, Duport. Both of these are above us in terms of uh, what you call um, how the computer thinks we're going to win. Oh, so how, how, yeah, how the computer thinks are going to win. Or this is essentially what it feels like is going to be the standing by the end of um, the Premier League, so long as nothing changes. Another one, uh, the guard. So they're just really good, basically, according to, according to Football Manager. So they came second two years ago. Uh, so they, they still think that they're better than us, so... We got to prove them wrong anyway. But overall, um, also in the grand scheme of things, not only am I going to be uh, looking after this team, but I also just look after the nation that I'm playing in as a whole. So if I end up, um, so like this person here, we can, you know, once I get some scouts, I'll scout him out. And... Um, We'll see if we can bring him into the team. So who knows? Because he's already playing at an international level, whatever that counts for. But he is an international player. And so is Saleh Hassan. And as and I can also see um people already want him. And in fact, it's the two teams that are above us want him already. You know. But as you can see, you know, this is a good way to see what people are worth essentially. I love this. The um, only guy worth anything. Oh, so yeah. The top guy who's worth anything in the national team is a guy called Mohammed Mohammed. And the second <laughs> and the second person is Mohammed Faud Mohammed. Oh, that's that's awesome. And he plays for AS um Association Sportive Duport. So that's kinda cool. Um and funny a little bit funny as well. But yeah, Mohammed Mohammed and the second guy is essentially Mohammed Mohammed as well, if you don't count the middle name. Uh so yeah, um so anyway, that that is my plan. That is my plan um to go forward. Now I have gone a little bit forward and I'm also gonna go over one thing, not necessarily um a problem for the future, but it is a problem starting. So, some of the leagues don't start until a long time, um, at least according to the game. Um, so, because of that, we've, we've got a massive, massive preseason, as in a preseason that spans pretty much a few months, right? So, over here is um, I played a little bit, and you, as you can see uh, with our schedule, we have uh, done. A few games, so four games overall. Um, I'll look. I'll pretty much go over those games. So all of them are friendlies. These are friendlies as well, but I'll I'll go over them. Um, uh, we don't need that. Okay, and for new scout, yeah. So um, as you can see, to be fair, we didn't have any any staff whatsoever. 
these are all people that I've ended up hiring just by going to the job center and placing an advert. So I felt that I wanted to make it a little bit more realistic, although I could go staff search and I could recruit people I want to recruit. Yeah, I can't go over that. But I I decided, you know what, well, let's um let's do it more realistically and just place an advert down and let's see who replies. I'm just gonna do it for managers because I don't want this spamming everything else. It takes so long just to pop up. There we go. So actually, so just to see. So there's still quite a few teams. There are actually quite a lot of teams that's looking for managers. Anyway, um, so one thing is, by the way, we honestly don't have very good staff. Right, I'm I'm gonna be completely honest with you now. So if you go with uh Barmani Ali, who's the head of youth development, even though he has great working with youngsters, but the <laughs> the extent to how much he can judge them, this is by the way out of twenty, is only three out of twenty, which means he essentially in terms of perfect knowledge, he only knows roughly um how would that work? Uh, maybe, I don't know whether my math is correct, but maybe 15% of the knowledge. That's his knowledge base. Compared to a perfect person, he's only 15% of a man. Uh, but as you can see, he's completely not good. And as you can see, our goalkeeping coach, 3-3-3. Three, three, three. You know, they're, they're not going to be good teachers, good coaches. Uh, determination six, level discipline, which is all right, but what what does it count for if he can't teach properly or doesn't know much about football? And then what good is it if he can't motivate the players? Um, however, he's still the best that we could get. We've got a scout. Uh, there's a chief scout coming as well. But this scout is four and four, so he can judge players a little bit more better than our coaches. And eight adaptability, all that is, is if he's scouting in a foreign region, how well can he adapt? And if he can adapt well, then he can produce better scouting reports of foreign players. And then there's a head physio for physiotherapy is six, and a normal physio again six, which we managed to get which is nice that's the best we could get now going over who I brought in let's go with transfer history so as you can see Alex Song um, was already there um, he is the most recent signing he is the best player in the team and yeah just take a sip there so the first person I bought is Matthew Asale, who's a Cameroonian, he's a much more better goalkeeper than what we had before. And now that I've got some coaches, as you can see, I can see the current and potential ability as well. Um, at least in terms of star rating. So he's not he's not the best, but as you can see, if I compare him with let's say uh if I go with general info, would it be there? No. Something like is it scouting or something? No, no status selection info not there either. No man, you know what I'll do? I'll just do this. Uh insert column ability. There we go. Current ability and Potential ability. Let's go with the goalkeepers. So, in terms of Matteo Sale, he is one and a half star out of five star potential, which is good for me, for my team. He's going to definitely be a good solid backup, in my opinion, right? So, 
one thing that I do like to look at, although he this um guy doesn't have, is I like I, I like to look at the you know star. So like um it's something that other YouTubers have done and other football manager players have done. But I look at work rate, teamwork, determination, concentration and composure. Now even though I look at that, this guy is completely just bad. And I'm going to be honest with you, he is bad. When it comes to those stats, which I normally look at, because I'm normally playing with a half-decent team. But the team that we're with, um, AS Arta, is an amateur team. They only train, literally, uh, what was it? One, two... Three days a week. They only train three days a week. Right? He's the best that we can pretty much muster. Of of course, if for so, you know, if somehow we can stick with them long enough and we can bring them up, you know, quite high, we can turn them into semi professionals and then and then eventually into a professional team, which is the goal here, which is a long term goal here. Right? So that's one signing that I did. He's the very first signing that I did. I thought he would be a good backup. Um, com just comparing to the players we that we have now. Sadly, you know, to a certain extent, beggars can't be choosers, and we are essentially looking at the bottom of the barrel. Second is Ivano, which, in my opinion, would be our first choice keeper. Now he's much more better, at least compared to uh, Matthew Asale, compared to the work rate, teamwork, determination fifteen, concentration ten. Right, even the composure is really low, but he is essentially going to be a first choice keeper. As you can see, he doesn't have any room to grow. He is literally that guy, or will be the guy that's going to teach our next generation of goalkeepers. So essentially, I'm counting on him. To kind of pass on his knowledge onto Matteo Sale once I can once I have enough staff and I can and then I can put them into mentoring groups over here, which would then help them become better by picking some things up with let's say senior people. Third one that we got is uh I'm gonna butcher this. Quemo Balde. He's a um uh defend uh defender right side and um he is definitely much more better. In fact I would say that in terms of skill, just general skill, he's probably as good as Alex Song, which is which was the best person in our team. So I envision him definitely I'm gonna put him as a uh fullback. Um, pretty much auto, whatever. But I'm going to put him as a fullback, not an inverted wing back, which is essentially his best, or a no nonsense fullback, which is his best role. I'm definitely going to put him as a fullback, and I'll, just, I'll, I'll also show you the tactics I'm using. But this guy is definitely going to be a good addition to our team. And then I'll also show you so far what we have in terms of um, what the game things will happen. Then we got Igor Fernandez, who is a um, attacking midfielder right and left. Uh, and he, he's essentially all all I want him to do is go around the side, cross the ball to the striker in the middle, and allow the striker to score. He's essentially what I've got, and he's really good, as you can see by the stars. Then we got <laughs> Abulai Kamara. Right, who is essentially our striker, and now I, I do want to put him either as a poacher or a target man. Um, it, I'll, I'll have to see because I'm still experimenting with the tactics, but essentially, I want him to be our front runner. Only 21 years old, but yeah, he has to be our front runner. He's, he's not the best stat wise, but honestly, he is not the best. Then we go Fabrice Nafour, who is a region. Um, region just means a player generated, not a real life player. Uh, so him, he's essentially going to be another person just as a backup for the right wing. 
um, even though this is a natural, I want him to play for the attacking midfield right role, essentially as a winger. This is where I want him. But he's just another person who's definitely much more better than our previous uh, players. And then lastly, we've got Nangana, who essentially again is another midfield right and left, and he can somewhat play attacking if he ever needs to play attacking. So, another person that's definitely much more better than a lot of our um, a lot of our team before, and is a welcome addition to the team as well. So, going over, uh, let's go to the tactics. This is essentially the tactics I'm running. So I'm going to be running a kind of route one. Just get the ball out there, kick the ball in. Don't pass too much, and if you're going to pass, pass it straight, right? I just want ball in the middle, bang, pass it to him, bang, pass it to him, bang, pass it to him, across it to him, and essentially he can score. We're not playing from defense, which um, normally is a instruction I love doing. So pretty much build it from the defense going up, but that's more like tick attack of football. Uh, this team can't. This team doesn't have much stamina. So yeah, according to our whatever um people we have this is essentially our best team as you can see we still need a lot to work on we need a good defensive uh left we need a good um defensive midfielder we need a good defensive center and we need a good uh midfield left uh center left so we still need more people definitely but overall, I think our team is shaping up. Uh, yeah. So going over the past friendlies. So over here, um, it was, to fair to to be fair, it was for me a respectable draw because I I was I didn't know what I would expect. I was actually expecting that to lose. I was I was actually expecting to lose this game, even though technically, this team isn't the best either you know uh going to the next game i was very happy when i saw this because this is essentially a team that should be beating us but we beat them right uh so over here um fabrice adan scored a goal and ibrahim aptidon scored a goal then this is where my first disappointment kicked in because AS um, Sport, uh, sorry, uh, AS Sport is essentially a team that it should be beating us, and they did beat us. So they're definitely going to be a problem for us this season. They can still be a problem, but I was just reassured by this um, result. Then we got AS Police National that we won against. Technically, we should be beating them. So I thought that you know it's a good start. We still got quite a lot of time to go. So basically, as you can see here, we're currently on August. Then you got September, October, November, and finally we start on the twenty eighth of November with our very first game. And that's not our league game. That's a African uh, Conference Cup, which is an international level. And I believe we got this because the team won the cup. Uh, the uh, Djiboutian Cup last uh, season so that's the only reason we're here all I want is I, I just want to get through a few rounds at least the preliminary rounds and if we lose we lose right I don't have much hopes right now because this is going to be my first season managing with them so that's the plan there um, what I can do is probably if need be we can we can play this and the second leg as well. Um, and I'll record that. I'll record that for YouTube. That'd be a good way to start. But essentially, I got a lot of time to kill um, until then. So we'll just have to wait. Uh, what else? What else? Finance wise. There's not a lot to talk about. We're an amateur team. We're not going to make that much money anyways. 
uh overall yeah i wanted to check um so what does the computer think we're gonna do now so before we were fourth and now they're essentially saying that we should be winning the league just because of the few additions that i made now mind you um any of the other teams can put you know can bring in new players any of them can bolster up their squad and then this will change accordingly but essentially now because we bought to be fair a good bunch of people but yeah so igor fernandez this 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 all these people from here to here essentially is um brought in and i'm very happy about that so yeah i've got good good optimistic thoughts for the future and let's hope my time at as arta will be a long and you know just fruitless uh just a long and fruity time basically and yeah that's all for this episode um definitely next time uh we'll hopefully start the season already and i can't wait for that so thank you for watching guys um like subscribe i'll see you in the next episode